talking about. Just what I came after. Oh, you nut. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Got it! Holy crap! Just the way the bites were, and I can't get one on a lure. Yeah, I forgot about this. And I'm whipping this thing. Got that at Bernie. Really? Yeah. I don't know what brand that is. Looks like a bandit. I think it is. Like I could barely make out. It's supposed like to be a bluegill. Looks like a bandit 200. They got a lot of color. I've never used this yet. Bill Norman. Good looking lure, but I just don't. I'm whipping this thing across way out in there as deep as I can hoping something's sitting there he may have been here all morning to get those three fish right. folks I finally got my first white bass of the day it took a whole hour to get one bite even the catfish poles have been dead he's not a bad one it's about it's a pounder I got him on the Bill Norman D D2, DD14, it goes down 14 foot, crankbait, chartreuse, the grayest top with glitter. And uh, it's not a bad little white bass, I may keep him. You want to keep it? In case we do better later? I hate to not and then we get a bunch later. I can always throw them in the tub at the end of the day. But... Alright folks, finally a nice little white bass. You want to film me just a second right, so it actually shows me and I'll figure out what to do with it. Finally guys, after a whole hour of patience, got my first white bass. It's a decent one. I'll take him anyway. It's not huge, but it's nice. Uh, I actually just explained in the Virgil, I said the thing is with these rapids over here is they're not always there. They only come there when they're feeding but if they're there they're gonna eat the problem is that maybe once a day could be twice could be three times today I have a feeling it ain't that often but I need to hurry and get it back out there because when you catch one there's always a whole school so they may just come through for one minute and leave nice little white bass uh, I'm thinking maybe if I don't get a bite on them in about 20 more minutes whoa, 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 you're biting, you're biting. Oh, okay we'll uh, get in the canoe and just go all around Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, I got it. I think it's a flathead. Maybe, just maybe. I hope. Anything but a damn drum, please. It is... Channel. Ah. Oh well, better than a drum. <laughs> oh man. Definitely not worth keeping. Not quite. Yeah, 
out in 30, 40 foot of water, too. <laughs> Well, wrong kind, but it's a fish, guys. I did get another one, a little channel, and I got him without pliers. Imagine that. That's lucky. He's a little guy, too little to keep. Calm down. Hey, there you go, bud. Yeah. All right, we just got doubles. I got the channel. Channel cat, and he caught a spotted bass or a largemouth, one of the two. He put a cr different crankbait on. I'm letting this guy go. He's just going all over the place. Virgil got his first fish of the day. They seem to be picking up all of a sudden, maybe, because of the rain, I bet. Uh, he got a, uh, can't tell if it's spotted or largemouth. It's actually a largemouth. He got a largemouth on a crawdad imitation square bill, black and rust, rusty orange color. Good job, man. He got me. The catfish finned me. Oh, shit. Yeah, it hurts. It's real. My whole finger's numb. It's kind of like poisonous, but not bad. All right, Virgil's on one. Hey, it's something though. Good, good deal. I'm gonna. You got another bass, the second bass. We decided to just start moving around and try to cover more ground, and it already worked. You casted right to that tree roots, what it was, wasn't it? fish that hide in there especially when it's up a little more it's like it e yeah yeah it is another crankbait man <laughs> two of them two of them touching each other two of them side by side they're not even hung on nothing the yellow both bombers I think that one's kind of messed up they can be cleaned off that's one of them weird brand this one's that Ozark trail and a bomber model a folks we just he found four crankbaits roaming the bank and I just found a nice bomber model a I want that one. Oh man god it's snap we'll just go down that we'll get up that creek I'm pretty sure we ain't gonna be able to get above it not without picking the canoe up <laughs> I see some activity already I just seen a fish swirl <coughs> right in front of you right there I don't think it's very deep. Nice. Right when I said I don't think it's very deep. Well, it's deep enough, Josh. <laughs> All right, guys, we got one. Woohoo! Little spotted bass on the Bandit 200, chartreuse and white. Just got this in the mail this morning. Or yesterday, I mean, when I got home. I ordered it from eBay. Not a bad bass. Oh, man, he could have easily came off. Got him on the Bandit 200. White and Chartreuse, just a simple crankbait. We're on a rock shelf on an unnamed creek today here in Missouri. Nice little spot. That makes a white bass, a channel cat, and a spotted bass, and then Virgil got two large mouth, or one spotted and one large mouth. We're gradually getting them. It was supposed to be a best day today, but the weather changed that real quick. But me and him did get very lucky because we could have been soaking wet by now. 
and we got lucky enough for it to not really rain sprinkled a little bit but I told you there'd be one fish up here <laughs> just a big enough rapid to attract one that was the first fish I seen swirling I almost bet you oh there was a fish right here Oh, it's actually sunny now. Sunny and warm. Not what I expected. Oh my God. Holy shit. Whoa, this catfish nailed this at the top of the water. Oh, wow. I actually seen him come up. Wow. Didn't it's wrapped around his fin, the line. No, I actually seen him attack it. It was crazy. He came up to the top. And I thought it was a gar at first and kind of shrugged it off like, until he started twirling. He's eat, almost eating size, not quite. Man, this creek ended up being better than the actual block hole. <laughs> He's an aggressive little thing, isn't he? Oh, my lure was dragging bottom, that's why. But I, I was pulling it up and he wasn't ready to let it go. He, he was still chasing it. Came, I've never had a catfish come all the way to the top after a lure, guys, but it just happened. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to have my pliers. He ain't bad sized. I might keep him. It's, eat, it's eatable. All right, folks. Nice little channel cat on a bandit crankbait. Nice surprise, man. I told Virgil, I said, I know there's going to be some fish up here at the waterfall, and sure enough, we've got two already. We tried to make it through there, but it just didn't work. Put him back behind the anchor. All right, me, folks, me and him did manage to get back. We would do, made one more attempt to get above the rapids, and we did it. Yeah, I see rocks all the way across. Something took off. No, I don't know what that was. I don't think we're going to be able to get to any hole, though. Over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a real long, deep hole, maybe. Oh man, there's a giant hole up here. Yeah, hey, bass. All right, folks, I got a it's either a largemouth or a spotted. I can't really tell. It's so faded right now. It seems to be a largemouth, actually. And I'm liking this lure. The bandit never lets me down, even on bad days. Man, I don't have my pliers. And I got him on my own. Got it! Alright, folks. Nice little largemouth. Little 12-incher, but hey. It was cool watching him bite. I actually seen him come up and attack it just like the catfish. Largemouth bass. That's a real largemouth. I actually seen him bite too. It was real slow, but he just kind of grabbed it and then stopped doing what he was doing. Just sat there and I went, whoop. <laughs> I'm going to get him back in. He wasn't quite worth keeping or I would have since we already had the two fish, but I knew right away. I said, man, something tells me to throw down here on the lower end. I threw it back behind that tree. I've caught three on this lure now. I guess leave it on, huh? 
If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, I just missed one. He was big too, man. Right behind that log. God. That was way bigger. At least probably a two pounder or so. Oh man, he was hiding behind that log, that figures. Man, now he won't bite. That's probably the luck I'll have. He won't bite it now. He's done aware that I'm here. Boy, if I could have got him. There he is. There we go. Oh yeah, he is two pounds. Oh, man. Yes. Maybe not quite, but he's nicer. Or at least he felt like it when I first had him. Alright. Another real large mouth, man. Hey, my friend wasn't kidding. This creek is loaded. He's the one that gave me the idea that we need to get those little uh, rafts that got a seat on them. And you use flippers. You know what I'm talking about? It's a tube with a seat and then you, you, you wear scuba flippers. He said that's the best way to fish this creek. And that's the way he used to do it. That's a nice large mouth. That's almost worth keeping, man. It's legal. It's a freaking big old pot belly. That's cool too, both of them real large mouth, not spots. I'd rather have a large mouth any day. Boy, he bent the crap out of my hook now. I think I'm gonna keep him in the canoe too to keep him along with me until we get back to the canoe. That's the problem. Oh, Folks, it's a nice large mouth for a little creek. Oh, man. All right, folks, nice, slimy, fat, pudgy, large mouth. Decent sized. That's two fish out of this one hole. I'm glad we came up here now. Hey, it provided some action. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Oh my God. Right where I knew he was sitting in that brush, man. Whoa, what a hoss. It's a large mouth again too. He's three and a half, man. Whoa, in two feet of water, guys. I'd something just told me, throw it on the side of this brush pile right before these rapids and he was there first cast. Oh my God. I'm keeping this one, man. Let's, I'll go to the canoe. Oh my God. And for some reason, a lot of the bat, uh, a lot of the bass in here are largemouth as opposed to spotted bass. He won't open his mouth. My God. He's almost wanting to. Oh my God. Wow. For a tiny creek. Wow. He's going in the canoe. I'm gonna go back. That way I know he don't get away. Oh my gosh, folks. This is a nice large mouth. Oh. My gosh, look at this hoss. Wow. He's three and a half, almost four pounds. My friend was not kidding. This creek is loaded with big fish because it has no fishing pressure whatsoever. Nobody fishes this river. Wow.
That is a big Bertha for a little 20 foot wide Ozark stream that's got holes that are only three foot deep, guys. I want you to film me. I'm gonna have Virgil film me a minute. That way I get a good photo of this bass with me holding it tonight when I get home. That ain't bad at all for a little creek, man. Gosh, it's heavy. Took me by surprise. We ended up having a good day after all. We had a pretty damn good day. Just And we didn't even start till 12.30. And it's five. We caught quite a few fish. I'm glad we came up this creek. <laughs> all right, folks. I'm going to get him in the canoe. I'm keeping the one white bass, the channel in this bass. Now if I can just get something like a walleye or a crappie. Be a good variety, man. I gotta be careful going across this or going back down through this rapid. I got out and I'm walking him through it. So far, so good, guys. That was well worth going up there just for that one bath. Did not expect that at all. Cool little creek, man. We're off the main big river up this creek, about a half a mile. Okay, I'm gonna get back in right here. Ow! Mm. Freaking rock. Yeah. I'm about to switch lures, try to give something else a chance real quick. This just don't seem to be working here. I think it would. Yeah, I drag bottom on this left side of you. Oh, I got one though. Oh, got off. No, it's still on there. Oh boy, white bass though. <laughs> All right, folks, I finally got my second white bass of the day. I can probably say there's no way I'm taking this one home. It'd be a little nugget. I was dragging the bottom and then all of a sudden I got him, a little bitty guy. Oh well. There he was again. There he is. Got off again. Oh, back on. All right, third white bass. Let me, uh, I'll get it out and then we'll just re-anchor. I gotta remember exactly where we're at. 20 feet below the center rock. All right, bat, white bass number three. We're definitely not getting the size we want, but I got them figured out where they set at. And if them tiny ones are hitting this crankbait, then the big ones definitely will. All right, cool. Man, that don't make no sense, man. Damn. You know it ain't but three, probably three feet there too. Oh, you got it? There you go. 